Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome back to Friday Night Magic Duels, the show where I misplay decks created by the community. In this episode, I'm taking a look at a deck that I call Tireless Trial. This deck was made by uh, Ray Busato of the Magic Duels Helper website. He posted this deck and I thought I'd give it a try. It's a green and white aggro deck that aims to make use of of the special enchantments that are now in Amonkhet. Is that the right way to say it? Amonkhet? So, um, here we have the first one. Let's see how this deck is put together. We got a uh, Cartouche of Solidarity, a one mana uh, uh, enchantment. And uh, now, one bad thing about enchantments is that, uh, or enchantments in particular, is that they're kind of bad is because you're kind of investing two cards into one. And if, it, you know, so you're putting it on a creature. If that creature gets killed, you're kind of losing two cards for one. The Cartouche is aimed to try to uh, mitigate that by giving you some extra benefits uh, for playing it. So, for instance, this one here gives me a 1-1 one, one, white warrior creature token with vigilance and the enchanted creature i put this on gets plus one plus one and first strike so for one mana you get you know at least two things out of it now in this deck we aim to try to get at least three things out of it as you'll see so we have four of those we have two hand weir militia captains just a uh, good creature that can we usually can get uh, four more creatures and you can transform into this uh cult leader and get really big uh that's kind of one of our finisher cards we have two glory bound initiates uh, that can become basically a 4-4 by exerting and, and with lifelink and why do we have that we have that because we have a couple we have three lone riders first strike at lifelink at the beginning of the end step if you gain three or more life this turn transform lone rider who turns into the crazy first strike trampling lifelink 4-4 draws a horror and if we've enchanted this with something it gets even bigger so we have three of those we have two herald of the pantheons a 2-2 that gives us life uh, whenever we cast an enchantment and it makes our enchantments easier to cast uh this can go well with trying to uh, transform lone rider so kind of that's why it's in there that one life can mean the difference uh we have two sylvan advocates we have two talia the heretic cathar to slow down our uh, opponents and get let our attacks go through we have two bygone bishops to give us uh some investigation and be able to draw some cards later on we have one ronas the indomitable a death touch indestructible but he can't attack or block unless you control another creature with power four or greater but we are able to do that in this deck and then another target creature gets plus two plus zero against trample until end of turn so five five with death touch pretty nice we have two tireless trackers uh just a great guy gives us uh clue tokens can get really big can get way out of hand we have three trial solidarity uh when it enters the battlefield creatures you control get plus two plus one gain vigils until end of turn which is really nice and then when a cartouche enters the battlefield under control return this back to your hand so a one turn you know big attack thing and then you can kind of get it back uh, we also have two Trial of Strength, um, which you play this gives you a 4-2 beast and it can go back to your hand when you play a Cartouche. And we have four Cartouches of Strength. Uh, this is actually pretty nice. I underestimated this. It gives plus one, plus one to a creature and it gives a trample and uh, the creature that you enchant, you can have it fight another creature of your opponents. So it kind of can double as a removal spell. So pretty versatile. We have one Gisela the Broken Blade, who's just really awesome. We have one Aketra the True, a, a double striker indestructible, and she can attack a block unless we control three other creatures, but we're usually able to do that in this deck. We have two Aether Storm Rocks, just a nice uh, flyer there, and we have one Angel Invention, just make everybody pretty big, and we have eight planes, six forests, two canopy vistas two some petal groves two evolving wilds and four tranquil expanses i'm not sure about that i can't I personally would rather go with four Evolving Wilds and two of these, but this is how the deck is put together. And because this is an aggro deck, which I'm usually not good at, I'm sure to make some many mistakes. So, hopefully they won't make you hate me too much. And without further ado, let's see this deck in action. Alright, so our opponent's going to be playing first two lands. We've got decent stuff. No... Cartouche, but that's okay. We want the trial first, so I think we'll keep this hand. We might lead off with the Herald of Pantheon, which will let us play Trial of Strength. 
He gets a Narnum Renegade, a Death Toucher, which is not fun for me. It's not great. But let's see what we do. Talia. All right. Uh, I guess we'll go with the planes. I don't think it matters all that much. We're going to put that down. Pass the turn. Next turn, we'll probably play the Herald into the Trial of Strength. He'll ping me with this guy. This guy's going to be a pain. This Death Toucher. It means this 4-2 is not going to be able to attack in. But I'll probably still attack with it just to kill that. I'm sure he'll gladly do that block. And hopefully our opponent's... Hopefully we get lucky and our opponent doesn't play anything here, but not likely. And our opponent's thinking there. I don't know. I think uh, our our plan here is simple. Head of Pantheon, even if I don't get another land, I can play Trial of Strength. And that'll keep the Death Toucher home. Cartouche of Solidarity takes care of this problem here. So let's go and put this forest down. And put you. And then we pass the turn. So, so far our opponent is showing us double green. Maybe he's a ramp deck. I'm surprised he didn't play anything. Unbridled growth. Why didn't he play that last turn? That's confusing. Go ahead and attack there. Not gonna block. Not gonna be silly. Now, if I draw a land here. Although, actually, I don't wanna fight because if they fight Death Touch, creatures deal damage by something with Death Touch are destroyed. So, kinda don't wanna do the cartouche. Um, although, maybe we do. Because I, I do need to get that out of the way. So. Hmm. I think either way I want to play the Trial of Strength. Getting a Tireless Tracker would be nice too. Um, oh. Hmm. No, that doesn't help us. Alright, let's go with... Trial of Strength. Now, I, I'm tempted to use the cartouche to kill that. But, uh, it's the most man efficient play. Let's attack. Might have something to untap that or whatever, but play the planes. If I play the cartouche, uh, I'll lose my herald, but then I'll get this this thing back. Hmm. And could I play it on the same turn? No, because this guy will be done. Got so many. You know what? Let's let's go for it. This is probably a bad play. Oh, what am I thinking? Cartouche? God damn it. I'm thinking the uh, other one. God. Okay. So, super... Uh, I was confusing this with the trial of strength that freaking attack. So, reef so. There we go. So that's what I get for being an asshole. <laughs> that's what I get for being an asshole. I just complete. I'm like reading that as my mind. See, this is why it's important to read the cards and not be an asshole. All right. So, I uh, I'm stupid. I'm I'm dumb, dumb, da dum dum dumb. And goes for the block there. He doesn't. 
Well, that's interesting. Uh, I don't think there's any reason why we don't put the Trial of Strength back down. I mean, I'm such an idiot, man. This was dumb. Why did... Oh, no. I, you know, I told you, trigger warning at the beginning of the video. I said that I'm going to misplay this deck. And holy shit, he is... That's what's happening. He's mana screwed over there. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. All right, what do we want to do here? I think... I can put the cartouche on this guy. Why not? Uh, if we do that... Uh, somebody's going to die. Let's... Uh, maybe we get the tireless tracker. Tireless tracker. Play the land. And then cartouche. Yeah. Alright. So, tireless tracker. Play the land. Give the cartouche to this dude. I'll get the trial of strength back to my hand. I'm such an asshole idiot. That should be the name of this episode. Asshole idiot. That's what I'm doing. But, fortunately for this asshole idiot, uh, our opponent is fucked over by mana screw and yeah, he had to do that but you know we've gotten so much use out of this trial of strength so it's kind of yeah i was tempted to do talia but I, I like i like getting the clue there and we're kind of recycling these trials splendid agony what is that distribute all right that'll kill somebody should be the tireless tracker is what he should do nope nope wrong target wrong target there sir all right uh so what do we do next turn we can hit for five six seven That's not that great. I can hit for seven is the best I can do right now, right? Uh, three, four, five, six, plus one, seven. Uh, so I think I'll probably just... Well, let's sack the clue. Let's sack the clue, see what we get. Damn. I was hoping for something to make him a bit bigger. Let's go. Doesn't matter. Right now, it doesn't matter the order what we do because everything's tapped out. And we'll go ahead and attack. And just barely miss finishing our opponent off. But this is a bad game. This is a bad game all around. I'm playing stupid like a fucking asshole. And our opponent's just you know mana screwed there and I don't know that there's anything that's well he possibly could have a sweeper plays a black uh, not even plays a land and he could uh, he can wipe the board but I have so much coming up after I, I, I just don't see I just don't see it happening Nissa will get him a land but that doesn't save him so fluffy fluffy even if you put another creature I don't think I don't think you got it you got anything you're done you are done plus this let's not forget about that canopy Vista let's just go crazy here trial of strength and we could play the sylvan I can make this bigger or crack that let's say we play this and just go nuts 
tackle fall confirm and that'll be it for him so sorry guys for big dumbass play at the beginning I recognize this you don't need to remind me of it but you know due to our opponent not playing well either uh, fluffy thank you so much for playing we have won all right, so we get to start things off. Three lands. Um, ooh, this could be interesting. I'm gonna keep this. Um, we'll lead off with Tranquil Expanse because that has to come into play tapped. So good to get that out of the way. We can Lone Rider turn two, turn three, a Trial of Solidarity, and he'll be able to flip. Bomat Courier will get to hastily attack me. Hmm. So blue and artifact could be some kind of affinity deck. Does this use red? It uses red. So, hmm. All right. What do we want to do here? High cost stuff. But all right. Let's put this down. Let's put the lone rider and pass. This is actually nice because the lone rider can successfully block the bowman courier. So he won't attack. I want him to tap that red. Uh, I'm fearing a combat trick here, but I imagine I'll probably, oh, maybe he didn't realize that at first strike. Maybe he wants cards in the grave, but I don't know if these count as anything. All right. Ah, this is not. This is not great. Um, hmm. If I play the Troll of Solidarity, he can shoot this in response. If I play the Troll of Strength, I really don't get anything out of it this round anyway um i think i want to hold off hold off on the cartouche let's try the the hmm. see if i play the trial of strength now and he kills the lone rider then i have the option of putting the cartouche either you know on, on the on this thing but i think i wanna i think i wanna chance it this plus so he can he can still kill it he can still kill it but I'm just thinking of the potential value if this works wow he didn't have the he didn't have the burn so that's that's bad that is I think very bad for him although I'm if he has some bounce All right, I could trial of solidarity again. Um, what do I have? Or do I go with trial? Because hey, now, now I want to hold off on this cartouche. Let's just hit for the damage while we can, I guess. Um, hmm. Yeah. Am I being greedy? Should I should I play the, the cartouche of solidarity now? Yeah. Hitting swinging for six is is fine. I'm just thinking the potential value of, of me just returning three cards when I play the cartouche. Oh, we'll just put that. We can do that next turn. If if this thing lives, but uh, unfortunately, our opponent has ha had nothing. I don't know what's happening. What does he have? Yeah, our opponent's quit, unfortunately. So, sorry for the bad game, but at least we... Alright, can we... What can we do? How much can we hit for here? Not a super lot, but 
We can play this. We're not going to kill him this round. Although I probably could have played the cartouche return one of these and then played it. But I still like. Um, uh, do I put it on him or do I spread it to... I think I still I spread it. Because I'm not going to kill him this turn. I'm not going to kill him even if I hit for five. So um, we'll spread the love there. And then all of this is going to come back to my hand. So at least this is a good example. You can see what, you know, how crazy this can all get. And we'll attack. Confirm. I love this freaking Kai. So great. All right. It's so not over yet. Our opponent, I mean, has been amassing some mana here. So he's got to play something here. Something's, something's got to come out. Now we can... Nothing. Really? And we got Gisela. Well, we obviously are going to play Trial Solidarity. We'll put that. This is a freaking big overrun. Third, yeah, more more than enough. Attack of fall, confirm. And that's how this deck can go when it gets uh, going. So thanks for playing Kuta the Budujin. All right, so we get to start things off here. We got three lands, some cheap creatures. Seems okay. We'll keep this hand. Uh, we'll lead off with Trial of Expanse because it has to come into play tap. So we'll go that way. I will probably play Sylvan Advocate. I guess that's that's the play there. Uh huh. Our opponent is on uh, Madness Vampires. That could be that could be problematic. I I, I think it could outpace us, but we'll, we will see. Um, all right. Uh, unless you can show two more basic lands, so let's go ahead and play this. And I think Sylvan Advocate is the dude to play. This is Menace, so I can't block it, right? Yeah. So. It's fine. Uh, I imagine our opponent's gonna probably sack this, get the uh, get some madness, or he just might attack. It has menace, so he can successfully he can successfully attack me. All right. Now, if I don't, oh wait, it has menace. Why is it letting me? Why is it giving me the option to? We'll put the Thermal Alchemist. Okay. Uh, I can get through that with the Cartouche. Question is, do I want to? We got another Cartouche. And unfortunately, I can't play this. Damn it. I mean, I could, but it won't come to play tap. Would have been nice to get the Trial of Solidarity right now. And be able to... Um... So, here's the question. Do I play the cartouche and attack with this guy? I'll be attacking. I'll, I'll have a three-four, which should be diff, you know, kind of hard for him to deal with. Um, or hold on. I don't think we want to hold off. Um, I would like to develop the board a little bit better, but we really just don't. We really don't have the option. So let's go like this. And attack. Go with that guy. He probably won't block. He wants to. Seeing this means he's probably on some kind of burn deck and not. Uh, what's happening? Why is this highlighted? All right, so anyway, so that'll hit for three. Uh, he can block. I, I doubt he'll block. Um, and then we're really not doing anything else. I think I want to hold off on the cartouche. We'll put this canopy vista and just say go. All right. 
show me what you've got. Got some burn. Probably won't spend any burn killing this warrior. Which will be bad because it's going to become a 3-2 in a minute. And this guy will get big. So we've got, got some things here. Um, gets another thermal chemist. That's fine. That is quite fine with me. I don't know what he's all about. A cartouche of strength. This is neat. Uh, I don't think we need that just yet. Uh, I think going with the Trial Solidarity is a nice play right now. Attack with all. Confirm. If he doesn't block, he's getting hit for eight. If he does block, it's gonna kind of it's gonna decimate his board. Is he going to sack it for something? Okay. What you doing? Cancel it. He's going to go ahead and ping us. He's probably trying to set up a nice big turn. So what can we do here? Our opponent has quit. So I think... I think we uh, turned the corner here. Uh huh. So what do we do here? I'd like to draw a land. Collective Defiance will deal 4 damage to the target creature and shoot me. So he'll kill he'll kill my Sylvan Advocate. I should have tapped those. <clears throat> oh, got a dry throat all of a sudden. Alright. So that changes things here. Alright, uh, right, 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 right. Well, the cartouche of strength doesn't help here. We gotta kind of develop our board again. We can go tireless tracker, play the land, get the clue, but we're not gonna be able to play the cartouche this turn, unfortunately. But we'll be able to play it next turn and play the trial of solidarity, so maybe that'll be fine. Um, but I think we want to go with Tireless Tracker here. So, put you down there. Play this. We at least get a clue. And I'm not going to attack with that. It makes no sense. He'll go ahead and ping us with these. Collective Defiance. Not blast us. I, I expect to see a bunch of, uh, bunch of firepower coming our way. If he doesn't, things could get out of hand pretty quickly here. Majoring Bully. That's okay. Govanic Bombardment will kill. God damn it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, we gotta we gotta do something here. A lone rider. Hmm. Well I could drop a couple guys. I could drop these two. And if they survive see the chances of surviving are pretty low. Uh this cartouche of strength could kill that mage ring bully. But then I'm not developing my board. Um, let's try Lone Rider and the Glory Bound Initiate. And we just got to hope for the best here. A bunch of 1-1s. Uh, 
we'll skip attack. Bunch of one ones do not have much of a chance against a burn deck. But if he does not if he does not stop him right now, I will have a big push coming up. But I he's gotta have some burn. Gets another one. Alright. And a Galvanic Bombardment to kill you. Which is fine to me. Well, no, it's not fine, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. It is what it is. All right. Attacks with the Major Ring Bully because he has to. We'll let that through. We have to. Not have to, but if I have any... If I want to have any chance of winning here, I got I to gotta do this. I got to do this. A first striker is nice to see, but... Uh, all right, so Cartouche of Solidarity, get this back, play it. Um, this becomes a yeah, not, not nothing you can do here. So I think I put the Cartouche on this dude to sort of spread that around. He becomes a two-two first striker. Um, so yeah, I think we go that way. Put it on you. This trial of solidarity comes back to my hand. We will almost play Talia. And we attack with fall, confirm. And we're just kind of hoping our opponent doesn't blow us out of the water there. The one problem with burn. Right, shoot us. One problem problem with burn is that most of the time, if you can outlast them, you'll be able to kind of push through. Collect the defiance. We'll kill the four four. Damn it. What options do we have here? Not much. This guy, I mean, I could double block, but then I'm throwing away everything. We'll skip blocking. And let's see what we draw here. Another cartouche would be nice, but it was just a tranquil expanse. So, with that, we've got this cartouche, which gets rid of the Mage Ring Bully, I guess. Um, gets me the other thing back. So we'll put this on this, becomes a 3 3, kills him, and then we attack in. So I guess that's, that's as good as it's gonna get. Although I hate having to put two things on there, but hopefully, hopefully that makes them harder to deal with. attack with all there's no reason not to but they have vigilance we just double block there he'll ping me for two he does lose a guy though so this is gonna be this is gonna be close seven um, kind of rage although he I luckily have got him He's got him mana screwed. There goes another Mage Ring Bully. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, uh, this costs three. I can... Goddamn fucking Tranquil Expanse. I hate that card. Alright, I can sack the clue. Uh, I won't be able to play anything else. So, Trial of Solidarity gives everything plus two... Plus one. Um, he blocks the big one, right? But loses his guy. If he blocks this one, he still loses his guy, but I lose a guy. But then I have Talia that I can bring up behind it. So, 
I still think we want to do this. No matter what. And... Go for the attack, right? I don't think there's anything else we want to do. I mean, he can stop, uh, block with the Mage Ring Bully, but then he loses it there. Goes that way. Pings me there. Getting closer. Getting closer to being able to die, but I don't think at four mana he'll be able to do anything to uh, kill me. So let's keep options open here and hang tight. During this end step, we'll crack this. And we may have turned the corner. Alright, none of these are enchantments. Let's go for the attack. Galvanic Bombardment will take it out, right? But I think here we can play... Hmm. Can't play two creatures. I think we go with Gisela. Yeah, kind of have to. Well, hopefully we can keep a uh, steady stream of creatures going. I don't think he's going to be able to get all of them. Alright, let's... I don't think there's any reason to play these before combat, so let's... Let's go for it. Attack or fall. Confirm. He's got to kill that. Because otherwise, this really swings the game. Alright, we're going to play... Lone Rider... Plus the Aether Storm Rock. So twin bolt. That guy and that and me. Yeah, he didn't want that. He didn't want that. But I've I, I still got I still got good stuff going on. Oh, so I don't think he's got an answer here for this. Maybe he does, but at least this life link really helped us. Uh, deals four damage to target creature, kills Gisela with that. Had to read that for a moment there. All right, so when or another creature it will get an energy counter and do stuff. He's tapped out. I think we win here. So let's just go ahead and. Play you. That gives me the energy I need. Right? And pay two. If you do put a plus on, on it and tap up to one target creature, that's the four damage. So let's just go. Thought about playing the Herald of Pantheon, but I don't think there's anything our opponent can do. So confirm the attack. Choose a creature will become tapped if you pay two. We will do that. Boulder Salvo. Doesn't matter. Wait, how come? Oh, it's pretty sneaky, sis. All right. Um. I think I still play the... I, I, I don't think he's got a sweeper. Although, if he's got... I really can't think of a sweeper that's gonna... That he could... Well, at four man, if he plays the land, could have something, but... Last ditch effort. Gotta go for it. Alright. Nothing. That was pretty sneaky. Because he sacrificed a neonate, I wasn't able to get the uh, plus one, plus one on the rock. Uh, pay the two. There we go. And that's it. Thanks for playing, Nicholas7893.
right, guys. Well, thanks for watching me misplay some magic duels. If uh, you have some critique on this deck or ways that you think could make it better, please comment down below. And as always, constructive criticism is always welcome. And if you have some deck lists that you would like to see played on this channel, be sure to submit them either down in the comments or you can search for my email, zerobudgetgeek at gmail.com i will definitely answer all incoming correspondence so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon